special day in Boot, Montana, as clouds of packaged air pollution fall on this quiet town. It's all part of Mayor Mackinac's plan to make Boot seem like a thriving metropolis. Things have been pretty dull around here since the raincoat factory moved away. I guess they've got smog in the big cities. Maybe it'll help if we get some smog here. Some citizens of Boot say the smog already makes them feel like city slickers. As the purchased air pollution descends on boot each day, the mayor will be looking out for signs of renewed life around town. And what if it doesn't work? I guess we can always import some traffic jams. Well, I can't eat this. I wouldn't clean the floor with this piece of meat. Why not? I did this morning and it worked fine! <laughs> Humanoid, what is the meaning of that female who came into this room? Oh, that was probably Sophia, the cleaning lady. She was cleaning up my room. Hmm. She had on a gas mask and rubber gloves. <laughs> Guess my room is getting a little untidy. Hmm. Hey, Phyllis, does your husband ever get suspicious about the way you treat your kids? Oh, he knows all about it, Gloria. And he doesn't mind that you make them do all the housework oh, and that no. you treat them like dirt? No, no, no. He's pleased. Really? Mm hmm Before we had the kids, who do you think did all the housework got treated like dirt? Hi, friends. I'm Uncle Hogram, and welcome to the Uncle Hogram program. First, let's say hi to Pippi. Hi, Pippi. How are you feeling today? I'm fine, Uncle Hogram. I've been trying to clean this place out. I wonder if you can help me with this vacuum cleaner. Oh, well, sure. What seems to be the problem? I can't figure out how to turn it on. Well, let's try this switch right here. There, that should do it. Yeah. Let's test it out. Mr. Cringe, yes, Harry. this school has an epidemic of lice. Now, don't you have a school nurse? Oh, well, we did, but uh, she quit. Uh, you see, she said that the school was uh, crawling with filth. Yes, and so it is. Well, ma'am, you see, uh, many of the, the students um, uh, are underprivileged, you see, and, and lice, uh, lice are the only uh, pets that they can afford. Cringe, do you expect me to believe that bunk? Oh, well, Man, they, they do make excellent pets. Uh. <laughs> Egbert, meet Miss Howard. <laughs> Egbert! Darby, look! Oh, I can't wait to take you to this new fancy restaurant for dogs. No, do I have to wear a tuxedo? You can take that cute cocker spaniel down the street. Yeah, when I take a date out, we like to be alone. Oh, I can't wait to see you wear those 
bids and get served by a classy waiter? Mm -hmm. I can't wait to trash the place. <laughs> Waitress? There is a spot on my plate. So there is. How? What are you doing? This is a new shirt. Oh, I'm sorry. You're right. <laughs> Kid, but you see, the maintenance people all went on strike, and I had to clean out the bathrooms myself. <laughs> Open wide. No, aren't you going to wash your hands first? But why? They've been in water all day long. <laughs> Cleaning out the toilet. <laughs> Waitress, this food is inedible. I demand you take it back to the kitchen. I can't take this back to the kitchen. That would be unsanitary. There are health laws, you know. Army. Of course, I was an officier. But no is them. Well, we dance with sick. You remember? Hmm? I receive orders from the general. A great responsibility. It is my man. I descend into the trenches. And what do I find? I find mud. More mud. Nothing but mud. I can assure you, my dear friend, it was no hard idea. 